Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can create this uh, gravity gun. Basically takes all your physics objects, it'll float them in the air, rotate them a little bit, and then release them. Alright, so how can we do this? We're going to need to make three things. First thing we're going to need to make is an interface. So we'll right click here and go to blueprints. And we will go to blueprint interface. And we'll just call this anti-gravity. And if we double click in here, we can name our function. And just call this zero gravity attack. And we'll give it one output. Suspended. And we can hit compile and save. And then we don't need to worry about this anymore. The other thing we're going to need to do is make the bullet. So we can call this blueprint class an actor, and we'll say zero gravity bullet. And we can open this up. And what we're going to need to do in here, just make a sphere. And this will be our bullet. And we can scale this down a little bit. And then we'll add a sphere overlap or sphere collision, and this will be the zero gravity zone. And this one we're going to want to scale up a bit, maybe like 5, no, do something big like 10 by 10 by 10. And the last thing we're going to add to this is a projectile movement. And then we're going to want to make sure we turn off gravity for this. And we'll set the initial and max speed to 500. And then we'll go into the event graph. And off of the begin play, we will have a little bit of a delay. Say maybe one and a half seconds. And then we're going to take our zero gravity zone. And we'll say get overlapping actors. And we're going to do a for each loop. And then we're just going to check if this actor implements our interface. And we will look for our anti-gravity attack. Then we'll have a branch node. And if it's true, we're going to want to call that attack. So zero gravity attack here. And when this is completed, we will destroy the actor. And we can hit compile and save. And that's all we need to do for the bullet. The last thing we're going to need to do is create another actor. And this will be our generic blocks. We double click on this, we'll add a component, we'll make this a cone, and we're going to make sure this is simulating physics here. This is now becoming a physics actor. We can compile this, go into our event graph. any of these and we'll go into the class defaults or no class settings here and you see over on the right hand panel it says interfaces so we want to add an interface anti-gravity and now you see it'll pop up over here so we're going to um, go into this interface here 
open this up, move this out of the way. And we're going to want to drag off and say set gravity. This is for our cone. So we're going to turn gravity off on the cone. Then we're going to get the world location of our cone. And we'll promote this to a local variable. And just say current location. And then we will get world rotation. And this is just to add the spinning effect that you get um, when they're floating in air. So we're going to go into the event graph. And I'm going to make a custom event. And we'll call this float. And this is what's actually going to float and rotate our objects. And we're going to need to make a few inputs for this. First one will be a vector. We'll call it current location. The next one is going to be current rotation. And this will be a rotator. And then we're going to need roll, this will be a float, and two more floats, pitch and yaw. So now that we have that, we can go back into our zero gravity attack interface. And after this current location, we are going to call float. And then we'll hook this up to the return node. And we're going to feed in all of this information into this um, custom event here. So the current location here is going to be current location, world rotation here. And then we're going to break the rotator. And we're going to add a float to a float. And you can hit Control C, Control V. We'll need three of them. And we're just going to plug each one of these in like that. And then what we'll do over here is we'll say get ah, random float in range. And we'll plug this in to each one of these. This will just give a little bit um, of variety to the rotation. So each actor won't be spinning exactly the same. I'll just put a minimum of 180 and a max of 360. Compile and save this. Now we can go back into our event graph. And off of float, we're going to have a timeline. So just say no gravity. And we'll have this play from start. And if we double click on our timeline, we can add a float track. We'll just call it suspend. And I'm going to make this of length 3. You guys can make this as short or as long as you want. That's how long the effect will last. So if we right click here, we can create a key float. So time 0, value should be 0. And then we'll right click again, add another one. And at time 3, the value will be 1. Now back in our event graph, we will go from the update and say set world rotation and location of the cone. And from the current location, we're going to want to lerp. And we'll use this suspend track here as the alpha. And what we're going to want to do <clears throat> is we're going to take this and say add vector to a vector. And I'm going to make the z value 150. So this is just going to um, move the cone up 150 units from where it currently is. 
and we'll hook that into the new location. And for the rotation, we're also going to want to lerp. And we'll use the same track here. And we'll plug this value into here. But the B part for the rotator is going to come from this. So we're going to make a rotator and take these values here and feed that into the B input. And finally, when this is done, we'll say set gravity. Don't need this cone. That way our cone will start simulating gravity once again. So we can hit compile and save. And now we'll drag in a bunch of these cones. And the last thing we'll need to do is go into our third person character. I just have this um, running off of the X key. So we're going to spawn our actor. And the actor we want to spawn is our zero gravity bullet. And our player is literally just shooting this right out of his chest, but you can attach this to a gun or any weapon that you have. So we'll hit play. We'll turn over here to our cones. Hit the X key. And as you see, it's picked up that one cone and started flipping it around. And it's not coming back. Okay. Let's see what's going on there. Oh, because I still have gravity turned off here. So don't forget to check this box here. So once the timeline's done, make sure you have this box checked for enable gravity. And I'm just going to make this zero gravity zone a little bit bigger, 20 by 20. So hopefully it'll pick up some more of the cones. So now if we hit play, we face the cones. And there you go. And they fall back down. All right, guys, I hope you thought that was helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And stay tuned for more tutorials. All right, see you guys later.